Well, there's a new thing to be afraid of, according to MAGA. No, it's not the immigrants, the drag queens, or the sunspots. It is mermaids. Stop and take a listen here to self-described internet prophet Amanda Grace speaking at an Awaken America event that, of course, happened on one of Trump's properties, where she warned people that mermaids and water people are spreading evil and want you to be ready for hand-to-hand combat. I would love to just let you listen to this thing straight through, but I absolutely must, in the interest of comedy and sanity, stop and talk in the middle of it. Here we go. There's wickedness attempting to completely cover this nation in perversion and seductive, seducing spirits. I have never seen more images of more mermaids and water people in my life. That's a division in the kingdom of darkness, and they're highly technologically advanced. It's a division in the kingdom of darkness. Well, who knew that the kingdom of darkness had divisions? They've got sales, HR, marketing, and mermaids. And we have to understand what we're dealing with. I do understand. It's called insanity. And we have to understand the rules of engagement in spiritual warfare. This lady is like misreading everything there is about staying at one with spirit. These people hear the word war, and it's like their little tiny penises, internal penises go up and like, let's fight. We want to fight. We have war. Like, good idea. Spiritual war? Oh, that sounds even better. And we are meant for hand-to-hand combat. Are, Are we having crusades again now? Is that what we're doing? God. Because the rulers have set up a throne in this nation. They've set it up. Darkness has completely covered and eclipsed the White House of this nation. Oh my gosh, and they actually painted the White House white. What, just to throw us off? This is crazy town. I do not understand how we are supposed to have a reasonable discussion. Democracy, it's important that you actually are able to have a discourse. So now, you know, in therapy, when someone is in, when someone's in full flight from reality, when someone is delusional, you have to engage them, kind of engage them in their delusion so that they don't put up their defenses. You have to engage them in their delusion and then work them back out of it, right? You have to talk them. You can't talk them out of their delusion, but when you engage them in their delusion, then you might be able to build trust and you might be able to bring them back to reality. I don't, I really, uh, how are we going to do that? I mean, we are speaking in two absolutely different languages here. This, if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. You're watching the Political Voices Network. I'm Juliana Forlano. Thanks for watching. Watch out for those friggin' mermaids. By the way, this lady said that the mermaids are, uh, you know, Little Mermaid, uh, Avatar. She mentioned Poise commercials have a mermaid on them. (sighs) That's right. They're trying to get you grannies and recently birthing mothers to sell their souls by putting mermaids on the box. (laughs) I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I know the internet is rife with people and conspiracy theories, and I, there are probably actual uh, conspiracies for power in this country. Can we focus on those? Thanks for watching. Republicans say they won't cut Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. But can honest, hardworking middle class Americans really believe what these politicians say? Republicans said they wouldn't overturn Roe versus Wade. Here's what Supreme Court Justices Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Coney Barrett said during their Senate confirmation hearings. Roe v. Wade is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. A good judge will consider it as precedent of the United States Supreme Court. Roe v. Wade. It's settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court. Roe is not a super precedent, but that doesn't mean that Roe should be overruled. Well, we saw how that turned out. They played us for fools. Tell your elected officials to keep their hands off of our Social Security and health care benefits. Fool me once. Let Majority Rule was responsible for this message. LetMajorityRule.org is a project of the Marvin Lucas Super PAC, which is responsible for and paid for this ad and is not affiliated with or authorized by any political campaign or candidate or candidate's committee.